So today guys, we have got a really, really exciting video and it is all about TLC Phase 3 for Ark Survival Evolved. Now I know whenever I make a TLC video, lots of people always put in the comment section, what is a TLC? Now always I'm going to run through it very quickly. It's basically where in Ark Survival Evolved, some of the older dinos and creatures get kind of a visual change to make them look more updated. They get new abilities and everything like that. And it feels like having new dinosaurs in the game because they've got so many new awesome abilities. And usually we get about five or six of them that get a change. Now I cannot say right now how many there's going to be changed when this update does go live because the last time there was a TLC, there was TLC phase 1 and 2 which changed the uh, changed the Rex, it changed so many different dinos, it, that was like 2 years ago so I don't know if they're going to do it any differently this time. But if you guys are excited for the new information in today's video that we've got on 2 dinos, uh, well creatures that look to be confirmed and also a slight release stay more updated for TLC. Smash that like button guys. Let's go for over 1,000 likes on today's video. You guys absolutely smashed that target on the last video and I'm just letting you guys know that I am going to be doing basically daily videos for the next month. That is like my target for you guys. I'm going to be smashing YouTube this month. I'm really, really excited for it. So make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on all of the information coming your way very soon. So obviously there was a lot of people are quite quite um quite 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 confused um i'm sure they are that many quite of confused um that there is not a new community crunch now we were told that we were going to be getting a new community crunch every single friday it usually was meant to be monday but it has been changed now to fridays but there still wasn't a community crunch now i don't have any information on that for you guys right now it is now monday still no information about what is going on so as soon as i get that news i will let you guys know but TLC, let's get in with this. So huge shout out to this person who found out this information because whenever anyone finds out information, you guys know I give you a massive shout out. Um, they put, oh, but Dolly, you were the one who said you wanted Dionic and Ariana, well, the space, they call it the bat and the spider because you guys know I'm terrible with names and our TLC before Halloween with the eye emoji. Now, I didn't actually know that Dolly mentioned that she really wants these two changed for the TLC and before Halloween. I knew that Cedric put up a new, um, uh, well, obviously the lead community manager of Ark Survival Evolve put up a tweet saying that um, the TLC is still plans, but we're looking at like, you know, it like later into the fall which is sort of late September around about October time and she actually replied saying I do just not yet and the reason why this whole TLC thing came up with the information is because we were told in the uh, community um, it, well in some information on Twitter the quality of life update is coming its way at the end of this month so it could be in the next few days um, and Dolly actually said there's going to be some dino love within this quality of life update so um, Syntac a YouTuber that I watch quite a lot said me sitting here wondering if the quality of life patch will include TLC phase 3 and Dolly replied saying no, no, this patch will include some general dino love in various forms that I hope you guys like, but the actual TLC will be a little bit later. And that's what it got people asking questions, what is going on, and you know, you wanted to see these changes. So, to me, this looks like they really want the Bat and the Spider TLC before Halloween. And the reason why they've got to do this before Halloween is because um, we will have Fear Evolved 4, is it? Yeah, so we had Fear Evolved 3, and it'll be Fear Evolved 4 this year. So that event will be going later out. We don't know. It'd be interesting to see if they do the TLC with the Fear Evolved event, but I really doubt it. I think there'll be separate updates, but this is huge news. I've mentioned in so many videos over the last, like, two years since we last at a TLC saying, guys, what do you want to see changed? And I'm not really going to ask that question again because I feel like I've asked it too much and I've seen a lot of you guys' opinions. You're more than welcome to put it in the comment section if you want because I always read it. But if there's going to be, let's say, six dinos changed and the bat and the spider are one of them, what could be the other four? I have always been going on the Kano, um, you know, is one of the top ones. The Megalodon is one of the top ones. So if that takes up another two, there's two more spots to go. Could it potentially be the 
the I don't, I don't even know it's really tough because I would love them to do like 10 dinos I can't say six because I don't know for a hundred percent but it's exciting so obviously I thought I'd go on here as well and the reason why I thought I'd get up the dossier of the bat here um, is because obviously the big thing breedable no Every, everyone says to the devs, they say, is, you know, we want the bat to be breedable in Ark. And Cedric did put up a little joke responding to um, Dolly saying, but will the bat be breedable? And she just put, please be quiet, sort of thing like that, because he was trolling around. And I don't know whether that's actually a troll or this is actually going to end up being breedable within Ark Survival Evolved after its TLC. And with the spider, I just, we, we all know this needs to happen. We all know this could have so much of a bigger part in Ark Survival Evolved. Like, I know in Genesis, we got kind of a spider-like creature, but I feel like when you've got a spider in a dinosaur game, it needs needs to have so much more about it. The brood mother isn't enough. We want a spider that you can tame up that does so much more exciting stuff for you in Ark and that becomes a lot more scary. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are about these two getting a TLC. Is that exactly what you want? I don't know. Let me let me let me know in the comment section down below. Now, quality of life catalog, since we last talked about it, unfortunately still there hasn't been any more changes. We know that there was a few you are uh, like sort of more recent changes in the sense of like um snap all big gates like the dino gates fix broken tech bridge snap points make it so the corrupt can't enter biomes i'm just going to quickly go for a few that i feel like you guys are more interested in like um weather control slider sliders like obviously about snow rain fog all things like that because i absolutely hate weather in arc um actual fly slash gl glide mechanics for all flying tames including the quetzal and the giant whale space whale um i'm just trying to find anything else exciting advanced inventory filtering a filtering I can't even speak but you guys know what I mean um, and ability to lock an item inventories to ignore the move all function so you can like lock something so when you move all it doesn't take that um, what else is uh, spyglass changes um, and pretty much a lot of the S plus stuff I was mentioning in the sense of like, you know, add a glass tier from Structures Plus, add in the material puller from, from Structures Plus, all that sort of different stuff in Ark Survival Evolved is exactly needed within the game. So it is very, very exciting times coming up for Ark Survival Evolved. Obviously, in the next few days, we're expected, we're expected, I'm not saying confirmed because obviously Wildcard like to change their dates and stuff, but we're expected to see um, a, a quality of life update which will be bringing lots of this stuff to the game um, and more stuff that isn't even on this list as well which is interesting um, and that is going to be again another very big update and then a little bit later on we then get crystal isles on the console version in september and then a little bit later on from then we're expecting tlc phase three and then a little bit later on from then we're expecting the fear of all four event now that isn't all i know this is obviously a video on tlc but that isn't all you guys will be expecting you'll be expecting Genesis part 2 sometime towards the end of the year you'll also be expecting some more events such as the Christmas event all those different types of stuff is very very exciting in arc but the biggest question everyone is wondering is what is up next in 2021 and that will be a video you guys will be getting sometime towards the end of the year every single year at the end of the year I, I give you guys a what's to come for arc in 2021 or 2020s the most recent one i did and this year for me is a lot tougher you know i from from when i've done it in the past i think i've done it from 2017 18 19 and yeah and 20 and they've all been pretty easy to tell you guys what's to expect but this year i know there's still a lot more time to give you guys to, for me to get inf information but for me Definitely 2021 is going to be the hardest video to make. But I'm glad you guys are obviously getting all the information and I hope you guys did enjoy. As I said, this is the month that Loaded Crisis is going to be absolutely focused with YouTube, focused with ARC 
and getting back to the normal days of where you will see a big, big video in your sub box every single day. And that is what I am going to be working towards because I miss it. I miss it so much. I, I, I hate uploading every, like every like three or four days. It doesn't feel right. This is my full time job. Obviously, I work things on the side as well. Certain other things that I'm trying to get going. But YouTube is my dream. I love it. And I'm really, really sorry for, I'd say over the last... I'd say over the last like six months, it's just not been enough. I'd say even I've, over the last year, I haven't been as motivated with YouTube. And I suppose that happens when you do something for three to four years. I mean, it's about four years that I've been doing this and it's crazy, especially as it's like, I, it's from being a kid, um, like a teenager to being an adult and just the way things change in life and everything. But randomly, that over the last few weeks, I've just been planning and really motivated to, you know, get get absolutely smashing with this. Not just art. I'm looking at other content to bring to the channel, and I'm really looking forward to the future of the Loaded Crisis channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Smash that like button. As I said, let's try and get over a thousand likes. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, TLC is coming very soon. See you guys later.